What up, family? Get a new sport, man. That's the man to leave today. It's Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago. This is, uh, what is it? April the 7th, 2022, so they say. You know, I just did a video, you understand? And I based it around this book right here. And I want people to know that, you know, real players know how to play the game. And real people that are gifted, you know, from a real higher power. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. Not some magically delicious stuff. Uh, you know, all the ones that people who don't use their gifts from a higher power in a good way and decide to use their gifts in a bad way. Or, you know, it's kind of like the Bible when uh, Moses went to the, I think it was Pharaoh, and, uh, he had a stick and he dropped it on the ground and it turned into a snake and the kings or the pharaohs pharaohs people did the same thing and you know but uh moses uh snake ate pharaohs people snake you understand what i'm saying see you got people out here could do some things like you and be like oh ah, you don't know who who you understand and uh, if you don't know what your gift is and how, you know, to use it, you know, you'll lose it or um, other people will take advantage of your skills or whatever the case may be. Now, I got this uh, book out the book depository, uh, depository box not too far from where I'm located in my city, Chicago. And, you know... You know, I, I freestyle books and stuff. I don't like reading all them books and stuff, but everything I need to know, I just flip the Bible or the book open and it tends to, you know, you know, it tends to work out for me. Now, when I got this book, you know, because everybody, in, they say everybody in the world got my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, Plus One Song. That's what a correctional officer lady told me that looked like Nicki Minaj, mind you. On the psych ward and stuff. For real, I'm telling you the truth. In 2016, after I got railroaded from an AA meeting called the Mustard Seed. And my city, Chicago, staying sober because that was the look they wanted, you know, for their people and stuff when it came to me. Me and the originator of rap music and all that. And they didn't want people to know that you could stay sober through adversity. See, a lot of people going through hell. On social media, you know, acting out, you understand what I'm saying? Will Smith, T.I., a bunch of other people and stuff, including myself sometimes and stuff. I post my own videos of what I'm going through, you understand what I'm saying? And I believe they're doing it the most because, you know, I have the nerve to do it. For real, you know, they tend to troll and do what I do. Like, I was laying around doing videos, laying down and stuff. They caught on to that, you understand what I'm saying, you know. You just have to feel it, you understand? Me being the original rap music, but not, um, you know, getting compensated thus far, but I will. So basically, you know, I got this book, right? And, you know, some people use the powers that my higher power have given me for, you know, conning people or whatever and stuff. But I don't do that. I've shown people a couple of times and stuff out and about, you know, that I have this gift. You understand? But... I don't like using gifts to, um, you know, con people and stuff because I already made my legacy ahead of time. I'm just waiting for people to wake up who know that um, if it wasn't for me, they wouldn't have no nothing going on. And if they don't, you know, like the Color Purple said, the movie, until you do right by me, everything you think of is going to fail. And until then, you know what I'm saying? And they don't, it's going to be some shit. Anybody that got this book know, you know, it came out in 2007 and I posted my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mack vs. the Fat Black Open Winfrey, on YouTube in 2007. It also says something about this edition was published in the United States in 2019. They tried to take 19 years of sobriety from me in 2016. You know, now why is it? Uh, 2007 and 2019. See, all this stuff is like, you know, coded language or whatever. But the point I'm trying to make without boring you to death, you understand what I'm saying? 
is the fact that I just did a video and I flipped this book open to a bunch of uh, pigs and a rabbit. You see the rabbit on the front? You would think it's all about rabbits, right? But I was talking about the fact that the girl that T.I. heckled, you understand what I'm saying? Said that T.I. called her the B-word. And T.I. said he would give her a million dollars. If, you know, she could prove it or whatever. You know, then they try to play it off like he was joking. But in the streets, they say, you know, all I have is my word and my balls. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I just randomly picked up the book in the last video and flipped it to uh, some pigs. And, of course, a rabbit, you know, was with the pig at the time. Now, a lot of these people are undercover police officers, you know, pretending to be rappers and stuff, you know, trying to finesse, you know, the real rappers because I myself um, have been through some things and stuff and I believe the police has something to do with it as far as um, me being a child abuse victim and stuff. See what they do, they use the people who parents are not in their lives and stuff and suck the blood out of them and, you know, all their talents and things of that nature and then throw them back to the woods and stuff that's what they did to me because i'm an originator of rap music and i stood up for myself at the age of six and you know in 1973 you understand and um you know the police have been a thorn in my ass my whole rap sheet is police 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 it's not drugs it's not gang banging it's not stealing it's not murder it's just the police harassing me and getting on my fucking nerves real fucking tough so you would think what's the chances of me Flipping this book in the last video. I'm not going to try to do it again because I don't play with my higher power like that. You got the video. You've seen it for yourself. But my thing is to prove what's the odds if I was gambling of me turning to the only page in this book that got pigs in it. You understand I'm saying pigs ain't nothing but ba bacon. You understand I'm saying that's what we used to call back in the uh, day. Bacon. You understand what I'm saying. So I'm going to go through this one by one with you to let you know. Because it's like a kid's book, right? You know what I'm saying? That it's only... Uh, you understand what I'm saying? One page talking about, you know, with the pigs or what, whatever. Now you see it got sheep and stuff like that. You see it got, got the chicken. And this is what I um, flipped it to. In the last video, and I'll put it with this one. You understand what I'm saying? Now, how did I do that? How would, how would I have known this stuff for real? Now, I'm going to keep going to let you know. There's no more pigs in this book. What's the chances? See, it's not luck. It's divine intervention. Now, if old girl don't want her million dollars from T.I., I want it. You understand what I'm saying? You see, there's no more pigs. What's See? They're using my gifts, you know what I'm saying, against me. And that's the end of the book right there, right there. But they go 2007. You know, they put it in the book. They say you want to keep something from somebody, you just put it in the book, right? But what is the chances? Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do it again, but, you know, I'm going to try. There you go. You have to believe first before you can goddamn speak it into existence. Okay, what's the chances? Now you owe me two million dollars, and that's the what I asked for in 1995 with Oprah Winfrey and whoever else got my um cassette tapes. I said, give me two million dollars tax free, and the rest could go to charity. And they didn't want to give it to me. What's the chances of me flipping it again to the pigs? Because the police are behind this. Real talk. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. Okay, you got to believe y'all for real. Don't let them take everything from y'all. All y'all had to do was stand up. They've been riding my coattail since I was six years old. When I stood up for myself like I'm going to do again because I've been a child abuse victim all my life. That's why they say in the color purple. All my life I had to fight. They was preparing and they knew, you know, uh, the real Moses, Harriet Tubman. Had people going around in circles for 40 years, right? You understand what I'm saying? Why? To get you to grow up so you'll be able to uh, appreciate your family. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you're on a hustle bustle, you're just trying to what? Trying to maintain, trying to, 
you know, build up your reputation, trying to, this how you know they hate me, listen. Every time I hit home, it's always, it don't be no noise in this mug until I do the right thing. But you be trying to build up uh, your reputation, things of that nature. So why didn't they give me the $2 million uh, uh, tax-free in 1995? Because they wanted to discredit me. And uh, that's why they put me on a psych ward. And that's why I'm in this trap building, 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Apartment 308, but you know, it's not on the door because I have a new door because a lot of tricked out stuff. Long story short, I want my money. All you rappers who billionaires and all that and stuff, stealing, killing, destroying to get my money, you owe me two million dollars tax free. All you billionaires, you Rick Ross, your Birdman, your TI, your motherfuckers bragging, talking about. Let young pimping brag a minute. Come on now, what goes around, come around. Now, if you don't pay me, you're going to lose everything. You can stand up, do the right thing, stop trying to kill me. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Because ain't nothing free. I can't get in the goddamn dope game for free. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to go to college for free. You know, the goddamn preacher want they, uh, they ties, yeah, and they going to pay too. They going to pay too. You can't rob God. You, you saw I did it again. Now, I know people was like, oh, I know people was like, oh, she, uh, she's, she's tricking us and stuff. No, I don't even know how to edit a video. You understand what I'm saying? I freestyle. If I messed up, it's because I messed up and shit, you know. I'm hoping you know me by now and you can fill in the blanks, but I want to make damn sure I get this one right. They want me to open the door and put them on, but I'm not. Little stupid shit they do. Try to. You know, get on this shit. No, y'all got to earn it this time. If you don't believe by now, you just dumb as fuck. Real fucking talk. Oprah Winfrey, you fucked up. You had the world in your hands like I had the fucking white man, so-called police by the balls, May 31st, 2008, when they pulled me over for a routine traffic stop, allegedly tinted windows that everybody got still to this day, April the 7th, Thursday, Thursday. 2022 you understand what i'm saying which means what was the per, what was the point of pulling me over because they knew i was giving my book rhymes poems and metaphors plus one song away to the people in my city chicago and everybody that uh was supposed to be some damn body and shit the news uh paper place and stuff like that you know uh reporters so i decided to become my own reporter, you ghetto news reporter and originator of rap music since the age of eight, 1975. I became your reporter in about, I guess, when I posted my first ever YouTube video. I had to have some guts. A lot of y'all ain't got no guts because you're working for the white man, acting like you independent when I'm the one that's been independent all along and stuff. Real talk. Y'all need to take um, control of your lives and stuff and stop letting people dictate to you and stop riding my coattail like... Uh, you know, I, like you paying me. Advertising ain't cheap. So if I'm saying your name, real talk, you can say mine too. And if not, people know what time it is. They listen. Every time I go viral, they listen. Everything I do. So why you trying to come up off of me? You better, you better, you better start saying my name. Cause when it when it hit the fan for real, and you ain't got my money, guess what? You stuck with all them problems. That you're going to have. And I'm not bailing you out. I know you was going to try to kill me to uh, get y'all niggas bailed out because y'all jagged off y'all money. But, uh, shit, that's y'all fault. Now I'm on. Real talk. So, real Mary Myers, don't tap out. Tap in. For real. Because that's all they doing. Tapping into my real, you understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. Oprah, you messed up, for real. <laughs> you still got a chance. You still got a chance, for real. We going to dance, 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 if not. Starting to work. Oh, oh tax day coming up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all better, better figure it out. Uh-huh. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. Peace.